Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome to another video of Utan Across with me. So this time around, this video onwards, uh, whenever there's a brand new event coming out on Utan Across, I will no longer be talking about how you can actually handle the event itself. I will, however, be putting up three videos on each individual event style. So from now on, if there is a need for you to refer to my information regarding those events, uh, you can look up uh, for those videos in the Utah Macross tutorial uh, playlist that I'll be have, uh, having on my channel. Uh, eventually, all the uh, know-hows and all those explanation videos will be under that playlist from now on. Um, as for this current video, we're going to talk about um, the event plates that are given within the uh, event itself and whether they are useful or not for yourself to actually uh, push yourself to obtain the max amount of event plates possible or rather you might want to decide to pass uh, on it after a certain amount of points so that you don't have to waste too much time playing Utah Macross if you have a busy fulfilling life. Alright guys, so let, before I dive into all the explanation about the episode plates, uh, I just want to let you guys know, the my YouTube channel has been growing, um, I would say slowly, uh, but at a good pace in a way. Um, it's definitely much better than my when I started off uh, doing Uta Macross content. Uh, the subscriber count was very low, but thanks, thankfully to Macross community, uh, I have grown uh, subsequently um, larger compared to when I first started doing Uta Macross content. So, thank you guys so much. As always, I can't say thank you more than enough. So, I have something planned uh, for the upcoming um, benchmark once I've hit 500 subscribers. Uh, I will be giving away some goodies, so look forward to videos uh, once I've come closer to hitting 500 su su subscribers on my YouTube channel. Um, don't mind me fumbling a bit, I'm actually very very exhausted, I, as you can tell I don't really have the excitement to explain things to you guys right now. But I have to put this video up before um, the, the, the day resets on Uta Macross itself. So yeah, anyway guys. Look forward to that video in the future and um, hopefully the stuff that I'll be giving away will uh, uh, please you I guess or maybe hopefully it's something that you guys might want to try and obtain yeah so hmm alright and uh, if you have not known by now uh, I myself have been on a Macross Facebook uh, group uh, I'm one of the admins um, that's monitoring this or rather I'm the only admin that's monitoring this group and a whole bunch of uh, friends and moderators alongside me so yeah if you guys ever want to enjoy Macross uh, other than time Macross itself you know uh, sharing the fandom with more fans and chit chat with each other uh, yeah feel the excitement of Macross uh, no matter what year or generation we are currently in in terms of uh, anime and uh, otaku life so yeah i'll leave the link of the group in the description down below you can always join us there we can always uh well talk to each other and become friends <laughs> all right guys so let's move on to the main content of this video itself so let's go into the mission tab i uh, just want to remind you guys that uh, do take note there is a daily mission that you have to complete if you want to fully utilize the amount of uh, Zodiac medals that is be being given out. So as you can see, I've actually cleared it. Um, basically, the daily mission is uh, all you have to do is just play an event song using the event ticket and that's it. Uh, you don't have to... Well, you don't have to um, get a full combo, you just need to clear the song. So as long as you pass the level, you're fine. Uh, the difficulty of the level of the song doesn't really matter, you can play easy and get it done. But of course, you want to maximize the use of your tickets. So definitely you want to play a difficulty that you can handle and still full combo uh, as always. So yes, I won't go explaining any more about the event. So look out for those videos that I'll have under the Ulta Macros tutorial playlist on my channel. 
uh, eventually you can uh, have an easier time looking up you know explanation of events uh, right there all right so okay let's take a look at the event itself uh, of course it's in June well we're still in May kind of so but the event is actually for June brides if you guys are familiar with the term so it's to celebrate like um, people who love getting married in the month of June because it's kind of like an auspicious thing uh, so yeah anyways we're gonna take a look at the rewards that's what we're gonna talk about as you can see I've already cleared uh, some of it I didn't really push myself forward to actually go and clear until the point where I've obtained the five star plate so the five star plate is both and of course the episode plates that are given within this event unlocks the um, SV262 that the White Knights uh, pilots pilots uh, yeah, I guess uh, pilot I don't know <laughs> uh, I can't really think about English grammar at this point in time I'm just really really exhausted so don't mind me guys anyways so yeah um, you can only obtain Kaname's costume via gacha so hmm at this point I don't have Kaname's gacha uh, I have not pulled her gacha so I don't have any plates that actually give me points to unlock her costume so I can't show you uh, on my own game but I can show you this screenshot uh, of Kaname's costume and what kind of effects does it do so guys take a look at the costume okay so if you take a look at the stats um, at the bottom right hand corner uh, with the red color text all right the black words basically says the costume's effect is voice and charm gain six percent up so if you're wondering whether this costume is worth unlocking well basically any costume that helps boost uh, generic stats is worth unlocking and of course there is always the factor that um, well Kaname's costume may allow Kaname to have a special uh, animated scene during the live performance itself so always have that in mind uh, I will always highly recommend unlocking costumes based off the costumes effects rather than looks uh, unless gameplay wise it is not as important but you rather have the costume looking nice and pretty then of course go ahead and lock whichever costume that you prefer but on the other hand if you are a serious player I would highly recommend um, getting to know the costumes of each individual diva um, uh, by looking through the whole costume list that you have available to unlock um, and of course from there decide whether you will want to spend using uh, episode ops to unlock a costume or not if you do not have enough points via episode play so guys that is my final um, advice to you guys if you are still deciding whether to uh, unlock a certain costume or not or maybe uh, you know sometimes uh, if you're going to go and play the game more seriously you might want to focus not just only on your favorite diva but you might want to focus on other divas as well especially when it comes down to costumes uh, the stats even though it's uh, significantly low in percentage but that small percentage can help you out uh, in a vast majority throughout your entire score of a particular event or a life that you're aiming to hit a very good high score on yep all right so let's move on and we're gonna take a look at the episode plates given within this event itself uh, mainly the six star plate or the five star plate whichever one you want to call it by uh, let's take a look here in the tab so all right let's scroll down and we're gonna tap this now here I have the episode plate on its five star level but let me just show you guys the effects on both 5 stars and 6 stars with this screenshot. Now if you take a look at Book's total stats, um, it's on the left hand corner, the first um, bar of numbers. So the first row, basically 1, 2, 7, 7, that is its 5 star total value. Now if you look at its 6 star total value, it's at 2856. That is also generically very very low 
<laughs> so in terms of usefulness, this episode plate is total trash. Other than the fact that its only uh, good point is that it unlocks the SV262 uh, with Vogue's uh, voice actor um, attached to it. So other than that, this episode plate is really really pointless. Uh, even even with its uh, center skill, if you take a look at the top right hand corner, um, its 6 star value is at 20% up of units support. So kind of pointless um, considering if you are a player that is very very good with um, you know tapping and accuracy and all that, this episode plate is really really something that you do not want to struggle to try and achieve uh, evolving. Uh, but except for fans who will love both a lot and maybe the twins, uh, yeah, so you might want to obtain the plate just for collection value. Active skill, alright, so looking at the 6 star um, value, it activates for 15 seconds and it makes um, tapping notes accurately a lot easier. So this plate, well, when it comes to challenges um, that has like a increased difficulty or increased accuracy needed so this plate might come handy in in that point of sense um, considering that it lasts for 15 seconds which is pretty much a okay duration of time so other than that this plate might not do so well in terms of overall value it's live skill all right at the beginning of 35 seconds well it lasts for 10 seconds and your score is increased by 20% up. Not the best score boosting life skill out there. Um, so overall, its total usefulness is still below the expected, uh, expected value. And of course, the most important bar which I had to um, <laughs> edit in into this whole list of images, um, it's the notes that the episode plates help provide those extra stuff. Um, sadly to say, it doesn't come with any of it. So overall, the 6 star episode plate that this event provides is, I would say, pointless to achieve or uh, to collect uh, if you're a hardcore player. Other than the fact that maybe, well, it helps, un it helps to unlock uh, SV262 uh, driven by Bolt, which overall the plane itself doesn't have fantastic stats. Let's take a look at this screenshot here. Now for the SV262 Bolt edition, <laughs> um, yeah, if you can look at the stats, it's 205 for both its attack value and its life. So what is the life for? Basically, uh, adds on to your player life, uh, the amount of life that you have within a life. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, so the, the main point here is it basically it's attack value. Um, the life only comes into play when you are playing against maybe a challenge or a difficulty that you take more damage than uh, normal, then probably the extra life will come in handy. But other than that, the main point is actually the attack value of the Siegfrieds, the Valkyries, the whatever planes there are that is in available in Utama Cross. So the attack value is the most important key because that is the thing that will help you uh, do necessary damage to your enemies during uh, Valkyrie mode, um, which will help you activate Cho Utahime mode, which is very very crucial when it comes to any. Uh, time that you play a uh, life, uh, even if it's uh, during an event or outside of an event. So yeah, so the attack value is very very important. I cannot stress that enough. So firstly, we'll say for books, well, uh, plane, it doesn't have the necessary attack value that is, I would say, most beneficial so far. The highest attack value in terms of Valkyries we've seen. Uh, it's two two zero, um, so yeah, we which is most which is only two of the Delta planes, which belongs to Arad and Messer. So surprisingly enough, 
any of the other Valkyries below Delta. Uh, even for Alto's um, uh, armored pack um, BF, it also lacks in power compared to Arats and Messers. Uh, <laughs> variable fighter. Uh, no, not variable fighter. VF. <laughs> I'm sorry. VF. So yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of strange. Um, that you know, considering that Delta planes are the newer models. Yes, they would definitely have better stats than the older one. Uh, but the two planes kind of like overpowers the even the armored hack versions of those Valkyries, which is kind of strange. Well, uh, I can't I can't explain any further than that. Is it's basically the decision of uh, Dana, the company that creates Utah Macross. So yeah, I guess they are the ones to blame. <laughs> so anyway, hey guys, if you really really want to unlock this uh, Valkyrie just for Bok's voice or Ken Summer. Um, who does the voice for both? Well, if you have the extra points and episode odds to uh, unlock the Valkyrie itself, I would uh, recommend you to do so for collection value. But in terms of gameplay as a hardcore player, I would say give this plane a miss. Alright, so we're done with the episode plates within the events giveaway. So let's talk about the brand new episode plates exchangeable in the chaos exchange since it is a brand new month and a brand new set of events so let's go to the menu tab all right so as you can see it's littered up and it says check so let's check it out okay so here we go zodiac metal brand new ones make sure you clear off the old ones i have yet to clear uh my remaining medals i should probably do that soon and of course Always take note of the expiry date of the exchange. Alright, so let's tap into the brand new Chaos Metal Exchange. And you can take a look here. There seems to be something different this time around. So there is two sets of 6 star episode plates that you can actually exchange. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. So yeah, so take a look at this one. This is Media. <laughs> well, so I think this plate has um, come around before, um, if I'm not wrong, but I don't seem to recall obtaining this plate before. So if I were to take a look, I have zero of this. So this is brand new probably, while the other one I have obtained before but it's not evolved, which belongs to Messer. So yeah, so if we're looking at the episode plate itself. I'm just going to explain it from here. I'm going to explain Messer's one first. As you can see, it is only of its 5 star value. So it's only 1292 total value. Okay, the highest stats is of course its soul and voice, which is pretty awesome. It's when its center skill basically, um, units total will increase by 5% up, which is pretty decent. Um, then for its active skill, for 7 seconds, well basically you will have an easier time pressing the notes for its sensitivity. Um, just like Bulk's plate. So I don't know whether Messer's total value after evolving is any better. I probably should check it on the um, Utah Macross page itself for full details. But you know, it's kind of late. I need to go to sleep. So don't mind me guys. I'm just going to breeze through it um, just like this. Alright, so it's life skill at the 45 second mark for 3 seconds your score is increased by 10%. So my guess is the duration is going to increase when you evolve it to a 6 star and of course its percentage will increase as well so as this one. So I think it's going to be a decent plate or rather or maybe even a useless plate just like Bulk's episode plate. But what can you expect for a free episode plate? So anyways. The main thing here is, of course, none of these are littered up, so the value of the episode plate drops drastically as well. Alright, let's take a look at Milia's plate. Okay, so it's basically a different color compared to Messer and Bo. Uh, it, when it's uh, equipped as a center 
episode plate, your unit's total will increase by 5% up. So I think it's pretty much the same thing as Messers. Yeah, it's the same thing. Even its active skill is the same. And the life skill at the 65 second mark, well, for 2 seconds. Um, yeah, you will gain even more accuracy. And you have a score boosting for 4 seconds at 25%. So overall, Media's plate is actually looking better than Messer and Bolt. So if you will really really want to focus on exchanging any of these episode plates, I will highly recommend just focusing on media uh, unless you are very very hardworking and you are willing to spend all those energy ethers or singing stones to replenish your energy to obtain extra medals for the exchange. You know, because the value for a 6 star plate or a 5 star plate is pretty expensive. So do choose the exchange wisely. In my opinion, I will just recommend anyone to just collect both of the Melia plates uh, if you have enough points. And of course, if you have the extra points, you can always get the other plates like uh, Melian's plate and, well, Hikaru. <laughs> no, this Melia as well. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought it was Hikaru because of the helmet. Uh, anyway, guys, that's pretty much all the information I have for you regarding the episode plates in the current event and the brand new rotation of the Zodiac medals. Um, don't forget there is one other thing that is also refreshed if you don't recall or ever buying them before look under the normal map the normal UC value currency well the items that are um, for your idols affection is gonna refresh in just well under 24 hours because right now in Japan, it is the 31st of May, so the reset value, well, it's going to reset in just... At a point of this time when I'm recording this video, it's going to reset in another hour and 10 minutes. So guys, do remember to purchase these items once they have reset it, and of course, uh, have them ready to level up your Divas affection, because yes, I will be making videos regarding Diva Affections and how they will affect your life and your high score at the end of the life. Until then guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching all the way until this point. I know this video is not the usual stuff that I usually post, but hopefully it has been enlightening and useful to you guys. So from here on out. All my event videos will be talking about the episode plates um, obtainable within the event itself. And of course, if it's a brand new rotation of the month, I will talk about the Chaos Exchange as well. So thank you guys once again so much for watching and listening to me um, well, describe things to you guys for a very long period of time. <laughs> if you like what you see in here, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. And if you love Macross as much as we do, well, join us on the Facebook group. Um, the link is in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross video. Until then, bye!